Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Yesterday's mandamano have completely confused Ruto's government. Every government official is giving his or her own interpretation. Today, William Ruto was accusing Uhuru Kenyatta and Dail Odinga for having incited the youths and planned the violence. And regarding Ashagwa, also had his own version, claiming that those who caused chaos were Mungiki supporters. And Moses Korea, taking his Twitter handle, shared out a very interesting tweet on the protests. C.S. Moses Kuria, the violence in Lolongo yesterday was because we evicted squatters from East Africa, Portland, led by Mavoko MP Patrick Macau. Today we will evict all illegal squatters. You can ban all you want, but Sibanduki. According to Moses Kuria, he is saying that those who were demonstrating in Mulongo, Mulongo yesterday were the squatters the government had evicted from East Africa, Portland land. And he's actually just thumping that they are going to evict more illegal squatters. You can ban all you want, but Sibanduki. Moses Kuria has got his own version of yesterday's protests. Rigadi also has his own version. He's saying those who are Mungiki are William Ruto is blaming Uhuru and Raila Odinga. What a confused government. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to see where the truth lies. If you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's yes. proceed. Where is the truth in all this? Because Moses Kuria has his own version, regarding his own version, Ruto his own version. Where is the truth in all this? If you look at what is happening in government, I'm fully convinced and persuaded the government is out of touch with the ground. Either powers corrupted William Ruto and his team to a point they don't understand what is happening on the ground. One common thing amongst all these government leaders is that they, they are all in agreement in their accusations against Raila Odinga. Even though Moses Kuria is saying that those who are squatters who are evicted, Moses Kuria recently was threatening assassination against Raila Odinga. One thing that is common amongst them is that they think Raila Odinga is the problem. And I believe that's where Ruto is getting it completely wrong. This issue is not about Raila Odinga. In fact, yesterday, Raila was not even on the streets, but the mass actions were done across the country, including even in Garissa. Everywhere in the whole country, there were protests even on the mountain, Meru, everywhere. Raila was not on the streets. That should be a warning and a lesson to William Ruto that this thing is no longer about Raila Odinga now. It's about the people themselves taking power into their own hands. Ruto has pushed them to the wall and the people are now fighting back.
It's no longer about Monodinga. I'm seeing a very high possibility, whether with or without Tailu Dingo, Kenyans will still rebel against William Ruto if he continues the way he is going. Kenyans will obviously rebel against him with or without Tailu Dinga. Just look on how Ruto is ruling. He's pushing Kenyans to the wall on taxes. As he pushes Kenyans to the wall on taxes, he is increasing his own salary and salaries of top government leaders and members of parliament. Ruto goes to an extreme length of even buying members of parliament, opposition members of parliament, to pass some draconian rules in parliament against the people. With or without Tailu Dinga, the people at one point will still rebel against William Samoy Ruto. So this whole protest, they are no longer about Tailu Dinga, but about the people trying to fight back for Ruto has pushed them to the wall. And from Moses Kuria's tweet, you are seeing the kind of arrogance with some of these leaders in government. TIFA released their survey today, and the survey showed that Moses Kuria is the worst performing man, uh, cabinet secretary. According to a scientific survey released by TIFA today. And if you look at Moses Kuria, He's the same person who was threatening assassination against Silo Dingo. He's the same person who the other time was abusing NTV, hmm? using some vulgar language. And now he's chest thumping for having evicted squatters and is telling them he will evict more. The same government was saying it's a hustler's government. Are there any more hustlers more than the squatters? Those are the real hustlers. So when you see a government that is very insensitive, evicting hustlers, instead of looking for them somewhere to stay, the government is boasting and just thumping. Hmm? You can ban all you want, but Sibanduki. I'm seeing this is just a mad government. A completely insane mad government. Moses Kuria is, it's a fact Moses Kuria is not fit holding a public office. He's a known inciter and a known warmonger. The mere fact that he's still serving in Ruto's government also shows the integrity of Ruto as an individual. Ruto is not fit holding a public office and that's why he sees no problem in some of his cabinet secretaries making such sentiments. These are sentiments that will only help in spoiling chances for William Ruto in the Ukambani area. Regardless on record, abusing the Kamba community that they don't have votes. Now Moses Kuria, these remarks will be taken as if Moses Kuria is looking down upon the Kamba community. Other squatters elsewhere are being treated with a lot of respect. Why is it that when it comes to the Kamba nation, Moses Kuria is talking to them the way he feels like? I think this is some form of um, Madarao. And this will augur very negatively for William Samoy Ruto in the Kamba nation. This is very unfortunate remarks, or rather, these are very unfortunate remarks coming from Moses Kuria. Moses Kuria should be tamed. As I conclude, from what happened yesterday, and from what Ruto said today, the likes of Professor Kipura Kindiki, 
Kithure was warning that there will never be any mandamano in Kenya. That was today. A day before mandamano, he was also issuing warnings. And we can still remember the late Kaiseri, who was also issuing and giving out such warnings. What Kithure Kindi should know is that the rights enshrined in the constitution are not rights that it's Kithure Kindiki who can give to Kenyans. The constitution already gives Kenyans those rights. Kithure Kindiki has no option but to allow the rule of law take its own course. The remarks by Kithure Kindiki, the remarks by Moses Kurian, William Ruto, all those shows a team in government that are clearly panicking. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Any other person who wants to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number. Any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.